When I first took on the job of the explainer, manager, director, the museum was not really full of exhibits. It was, you know, the place sure looked empty then compared to what it looks like now. There were a small number of explainers. Um, the number of visitors coming into the museum was smaller than it is now. So life on the floor felt a little different. It, it wasn't really as crazy as it is now. There weren't so many exhibits. There weren't so many demanding visitors. It was just more casual. And I think there's a, you know, in terms of like the difference between what it was like then and what it was like, what it is like now, it's not just the exploratorium that's different in the number of exhibits and the chaotic nature of what's on the floor, the number of explainers, and all of that. The world is different. And I think that, the, that, that these kids actually, when they come in, they're in, a, they're in a much tougher world now at age 15 than they were in in 1973 when I began. It's really a hard world. And so in the sense that you know, we, we care deeply about these kids and about how they grow up, that um, they will, I, I, I'm not directing the program now, but I will bet that for those who are, that you will hear from these kids questions and concerns that you get in conversations about things that are pretty intense and pretty heavy and probably heavier than they were when I was doing the program. So I think that just like the overall, like, you know, what's the tenor of the times, that that really affects the program quite, um, quite a lot. And I also would say one thing, I just want to have a, a, an opportunity to say that one of the things that I thought was really important about directing the program then and now is that wh whoever directs this program has to really like these kids. I mean, you have to like teenagers. If you don't like teenagers, you shouldn't do the job. You have to really love teenagers. You have to love their energy. You have to love their moodiness. You have to love all that stuff about them. And if you do, then you really get to have a great time directing the program because you get a lot back because you're with an age group in society that delights you in some way, that you really find to be very, very valuable. You get to work with them. Um, if, you don't, if you don't like that age group, get a different job. I mean, you gotta, you gotta like those kids. And, and, and interestingly, they respond to that. If they know that you like them, then your job is gonna be a lot easier because they feel respected, they feel loved or at least liked. And the way that you work with them on the floor, in the teaching, and just in every day, even if you have to ball them out for not doing something, if they know that, that they have your respect, that you, that, that you feel warmly towards them in some way, then the job just works better.